All right, here we are, week two, bin number three. Now, the previous two bins, uh, the bedding was really matted, so I had to really mix in a whole bunch of new bedding to kind of fluff things up and just get it a little bit more aerated uh, for the worms. There's enough moisture in there that I shouldn't have to add any additional moisture. Um, it does look like they did work through some of the materials, not all of them, but some of them, uh, but they're primarily staying on the, the edges of the bin still. Um, so let's see what bin three looks like. Now, if you didn't already see the video for bin number one, if you want to find out the backstory from what's happened over the last week, go ahead and pause right now. I'll put a link up above here, a little card for you to click on, and you can circle back around to this one if you want. If not, you just enjoy watching bin videos like this, hey, sit back and enjoy. So, a couple of guys over here on the outside, a lot of castings up on the, on the walls. That's just normal behavior. Uh, bin three is the bin that sits on the top of the stack. Um, it's the second hottest of the three bins. And so I think these also probably between bin two and bin three, the ones that have the most swimmers going into the water tub. Castings and uh, bedding on the plastic cover top. Plastic top cover. Over here. All right. Let's get these guys down off the wall. And uh, let's start digging in. Now, already I've got some worms here on the top, which is kind of nice. I didn't put anything in here and they're going right down into the bedding. So before I start on the sides, let me let me take a look here in the center and see what's going on. See if we have anything in the middle. I didn't check the areas where we fed last time first on the other two. So, okay, there's the uh, there's some hard boiled eggs. So that's still there. Um, Memory serves are some banana peels and some rice as well that were included, and I don't see any worms. Um, a lot of this stuff probably has just broken down through the process of the bacteria, the mesophilic bacteria. These things have been starting to heat up, but uh, yeah, no, uh, no worms to speak of. So that's disappointing, but not surprising. Because again, look how matted all the material is. I'm gonna do the same with uh, bin three here that I've done with bins one and two. I'm gonna fluff it up and add some more dry material. There definitely is more than enough. Um, there's definitely more than enough moisture in here that I don't have to add any additional moisture, but additional bedding will help. Um, I can fluff things up and make it just a little bit nicer for the worms. Yeah, they're all over here in the corners. Just like the other two. This one appears to have the least amount of worms. So I'm glad that I have a pretty good amount of the swimmers here to add back in. Yeah, this is, uh, this again, the, the bottom bin, look at the size of that stick. Came from the black leaf mold that I was adding in initially when I was getting the bin set up. Um, the bottom bin is the coldest bin. It also is the most matted. Um, there's some worms here. But uh, I'm gonna do the same for all three, just to try to get the moisture as consistent as possible. Let's pile everything over here. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible. I don't really like to disturb the bins this much. Um, this species of worm already has a tendency to like to wander anyway. And this type of disturbance, this kind of tilling, if you will, of the bin can really uh, can really set them off. And so I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Okay. Now, a lot of um, this will be the same as the other two bins. The, uh, the centerpiece, or the, uh, the area where I fed in the center, it's gonna get mixed on all sides now as I just try to, you know, 
even things out. The whole idea here really is just to balance out the moisture. It's not to make the bin too dry, not to make it too wet. I just don't want it going anaerobic. And this is why a weekly check on your bins and fluffing the materials up like this from time to time is really important. Um, the, uh, the main thing that we're wanting to do by doing this is just to keep a balance of moisture in the bin. Uh, but again, with this species, the thing I get most concerned about is them evacuating. Uh, just because of this kind of disturbance in the it's a banana. Just because of all this disturbance and tilling them up like this, but it's uh, as you can see, I mean, it's it's really necessary. Yeah, this is uh, this one right there. So we got that there for you. This uh, this species like this species likes to wander. Um, they like heat. But, uh, you know, this, this bedding is very challenging for any worm to get through. And usually it, it, what it does is, and the reason I like wetter bends than drier bends is because it does, it, it forces the worm to have to force itself through these materials. But even materials, I mean, like this, as dense as this is, you know, that's, that's, that's asking too much. Not to mention the fact that, you know, they're still getting used to this bend. They, they came from an outdoor setting. These are mature worms that are already used to a mature um, home. You know, they were they were in pig and cow manure. So to go from that to you know corrugated cardboard and food scraps that hasn't been properly you know cycled, yeah, that, that's asking a lot of any worm, but especially one that has the characteristics that these African night crawlers do. So I'm not uh, I'm not discouraged. And if you're somebody who's new to worm bins and if you have African eye crawlers and you're experiencing anything similar to this, don't get discouraged. It just this kind of stuff just takes its time in balancing itself out. It just does. It it doesn't happen overnight. It just it takes time to balance out. And in this particular scenario, with everything that's gone on the way it has, it's just gonna take time. I mean I I only had less than 48 hours before I received the worms to have the bins ready. It's, that was my fault. I should have set up the bins up a lot sooner, but I wasn't expecting them for an additional week. Which, had I had that additional week, this would not have been an issue. This would have been cycled. It would have been appropriate because I had a whole bunch of different stuff I was going to add to it to raise the temperature and get you know the microbes in here that I was really needing, the bacteria cooking that I wanted. And, Anyway, so much for lost causes as far as that goes. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's a done deal. I don't have to worry about it now. Yeah, this is this is very similar in the consistency of its moisture as the other two bends. It's it's got a good deal of moisture all through it. But uh, this adding these different uh, beddings, um, the shredded up leaf material here, and the additional grounds of cardboard and paper. It'll just help balance it out a little bit better, and hopefully, by aerating it like this too, it's coffee, I believe. That's what it feels like. Um, it'll just help the worms, uh, you know, maybe feel a little more curious about what's going on and, and cruise through it a little bit more. That's my hope, at least. All right, so let's get a quick feeding in here. Add the uh, the final 20 from <laughs> the water tub. Bad kids that went swimming, left everybody else behind. And then we're gonna get out of here. Let them do their thing. Got some solid materials in here consisting of lettuce, shredded up uh, carrot and cabbage, and some uh, cucumber. It's a little more than was even given in the last one. These materials also will add a lot of moisture as well. So, uh, solid materials like this get really watery really quick.
it's looking a little bit better. It's gonna take time. It's gonna be fine. It's just gonna take some time. The rest of our naughty children. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me this week. Week two is now concluded. All three bends have been checked. They've been fluffed up and they have received a small feeding in addition to some new bedding to kind of try to help balance things out. Look at this. Where are you going? He wants to go swimming. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me today. If you haven't already, please do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell notification icon if you haven't already so you can be uploaded when I, or <laughs> so you can be alerted when I upload new content. Hey listen, wherever you are in this world today or tonight, take care. Bye for now.